Hi, welcome to my channel. I just realized I didn't um, show my face at all on this channel. So I thought I'd do that. Um, I basically just plowed right in and started doing crafts because this channel was something I wanted to do for a very long time. So here I am. Pardon me um, as I adjust the camera. Um, my name is Kimberly. Thank you for my, thank you for visiting, I was going to say thank you for my channel. Well, it's not going to be a channel if it's, if it isn't for you guys watching me. So, um, so, um, I am here in my fifth wheel at an oceanfront resort in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I love the beach. My intention is to travel to a lot of different beaches. Um, that's my that's my goal. Not only to travel to beaches, but um, I also teach. I have some other channels. Um, I'm in the healing arts, um, and I am designing a course to teach massage therapists continuing education credit to to gain continuing education credits so I'm teaching a course on that um, soon and um, also I do YouTube videos on um, energy medicine and I am going to touch on that later on once um, once I get more situated Okay, um, what I do is I put symbols on my shells and my shell art, and they're healing symbols. You ever see a rock that says harmony or peace, balance, tranquility? Well, it's on the same line of that, um, but I'm gearing it to medical conditions um, to, to support it as an adjunct to your current medical regime if it's medicine whatever it's not this isn't replacing medicine or a doctor or a diagnosis so that's my disclaimer anyways that's down the line um, I'll give you an example. I have it sitting here right here. This one is for eye strain. See, it's on a shell. Um, it's a symbol for eye strain. I put the and the, the word eye strain in the back of it. Here's another one. This is just, this is for joint pain. And they sit here and I look at them. Um, this is, it's just one example of what you can do with it. Um, this one's for muscle pain. They're on shells. But basically what I will be doing, I make pendants and for instance, uh, eventually this will be a pendant it's going to be decorated I and I put the um, symbol in the back of it and people just wear it it's going to have um, silver wrapping and some emblem I'll put an emblem on this I have one in the other room but um Made out, all this stuff is made out of shells. Shells have um, symbolic meaning to it, which I'll add eventually what that is in my description box. Um, so I hope you like my other videos. Um, oh, this is the, it looks like it has some dusting over it, but this is the end result of that. 
that votive I made in my previous video. I, it's different. It's not like this one. I like this one. This one's, maybe, I think it's because, I don't know, the glass, the, um, the sea glass was too far apart and they're big. I kind of like this look. Anyways, um, I'm going to, I'm going to put a candle in it. I'm going to put this on pause. Okay. I got, I have, um, I have the, uh, I'm going to shut the light off. And show you what this looks like. Um, I don't know. It looks yellow on the camera. It's not. It's not yellow. It's weird. Interesting. I don't know why that is. Anyways, it looks all right. It'll do. It's just not, I just like the other one better, I guess. But anyways, um, I will put, I'll put something around this top. I don't, I have all my stuff at home. Anyways, I'll let that, I'll leave that lit. So today we are working on going to turn this down in a minute too. Um, I'll show you, let me show you what this looks like a bit. I think I already put, lit this in my other video, right? So this is made out of sea glass, but you you know, they sell glass. You can't get sea glass. And you love this look. It's almost like a stained glass look. It's really not showing up. I don't know why. I think it's because of the candle. But you can get a, um, you can buy glass and you can get a tumbler to make it more smooth because it's not as smooth as sea glass. There you go. That's better. It's pretty. So I'll leave those lit. Um, you may hear some scuffling around in the background. My, Those are my bunnies. I gave them a piece of paper to chew on because they love to chew on paper. Okay, so um, what we're working on today is making shells. I mean, um, <laughs> making butterflies out of shells. That's one of them. And Um, I actually have a few different types of shells that I am going to make a butterfly out of. And I'll show you how it's done. I actually need these butterflies for another project, so. For my healing work, my healing paintings I just told you about. Oh my goodness. This is such a mess. I got this glue coming all out of my, um. My glue gun making a mess all over my table. <laughs> I'm gonna have to uh, clean this mess up. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to do that. So, um, let me put this on pause. 
get another glue gun because this one's a big mess. And um, I'll turn the camera down and we'll get to work on our butterflies made out of seashells. Okay, we'll see you soon. Okay. Now, the beautiful thing about this type of shell, it's kind of like, I think this is a, some type of mussel shell. And it's, it's beautiful and shimmery inside of the shell. Some of them are prettier than other, others, more shimmery, like, for instance, this one has like a purple part of my nails. Um, being a massage therapist, I can't have nails. Well, I don't have nails personally. I don't want to hurt anyone. So what we want to do is take them, well, depending on how you see, I am going to place these on my paintings. Um, so I need them flat. Now they come, of course, you want to get two of the exact same ones. So they come like this, mostly all dried out. But um, I'm going to pull mine apart. And then, because I want them to lie flat, and I need, well, I'm not going to do them all, but I need all these ones from large to small for my, for my artwork that I'm doing. This one goes with this one. So I'm going to, st I'll start with the, you see that? Yes. And I'm really embarrassed of my hands because they have sun damage on them. But there's nothing I can do about it <laughs> right now. So we see everything clearly. So I have this wire for the little tentacles that they have. And I am going to cut this and make two of them, same size. It's just um, non-tarnishing silver. And then I take my pliers and Once I divide the, the little nickels, I'll turn the wire like that. Very pliable. And then I need to glue these two together. Those are going to go on paper. And then I want to put this right on top of it. It already dried, so I need more glue. Quickly before it dries. There. Very easy to make.
great piece. Aren't they cute? You can hang these up anywhere. You could put a magnet on the back of them and hang them on your refrigerator. You can make little flowers out of them, like put little stems on them and hang and put them in your your flower pots. So many different things you can do with them. Okay, and then I have a bunch of these little beads, different colors. So that one was pink. light pink. I think I'm going to grab a dark pink. No, a purple. I got these on Amazon. I didn't take all of my stuff with me from my house. <laughs> I took as much as I thought I'd need. So much left. This I have a whole trunk of beads and all sorts of stuff. So what I'm going to do is make sure this fits. Yes, because I'm going to put a little bit of glue on and quickly put that on because this dries really quick. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. See that? Isn't that pretty inside? It's amazing. I'm sure this one fits. Some of the holes are closed. Yeah. Never seen anyone have so much sun damage than I have. Although I have, actually. What am I saying? This is, I'm not the only one that loves the sun, the beach. Alright, I know I just put a bunch of too much on this one. So I'll have to go back and clean that up. So what I do is I just take my pliers take off. I put too much glue on this one. So we'll do it again. <laughs> we'll do it again. Hmm. It's hard to do. This glue dries really fast. And I should have. There's other glue you can use, of course. And I should have grabbed it. But there. That one worked really good. So, there, there's one little butterfly, came out pretty good, huh? These could be his little legs.
All right. So those are those. I'll do these later. Those are those two. And there's another... Sorry, I'm a perfectionist, but I can't be. Okay, because nothing's perfect in this world, right? All right, so I have these two, these two types of shelves that I found on the beach. I tried to match them up exactly, but that's impossible. So. It will give you an idea. Um, and these are called augers. I have a bunch of these. So. And I'm going to put that right there once I glue those two together. Let that dry and I'll get my, I'm actually going to glue this wire inside this hole to hide it. <clears throat> mm. So I'll cut off two exactly the same length of wire. very cloudy here today at the beach it's a you, you know why because it's going to be unusually warm today and the the ocean is colder than the air I mean it was just a few days ago it was in the 20s at night that's unusual but we get cold snaps here on the beach South Carolina doesn't get that cold and it hasn't snowed and it this it I haven't had snow here since I've been here I've been coming here for six years and I haven't seen snow so that's gonna go right in there And glue it right in there and hide it. It's going to go right there. And I'm going to put it right. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the little <coughs> beads at the end. Whatever these things. What are they? <coughs> I don't know if they're their eyeballs. I don't know. <coughs> no, they're eyeballs. No. I'm just putting it. Actually, I don't think butterflies have this at the end, do they? I think I just made this up. <clears throat> okay. 
this is the tricky part because this dries too quick for me for my liking. That one worked out well. Quick, 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 quick. No, nope, I didn't make it. <laughs> it's hard to get the little bead on it because you got all that glue on it. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the glue, see if I can do it this way, on the bead. <clears throat> Probably the best thing to do is to use different glue. That's what I should be doing. But that worked beautifully, actually. Okay. And then, see how that's all dry? Now, you know what you could do? What I would what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a shiny shellac stuff on it. Um, or you could paint them. <clears throat> I, I will do a one on painting, a video on painting shells. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, what you do is you want to put the... I put the glue on this first. And go like that. Isn't that cute? That's adorable. You could put a magnet on this and put it on the refrigerator. These will actually be cute on, like if you're wrapping a gift, you could put this as the bow. Somehow. And then they have a little, another gift. Okay, that is my seashell butterflies. It's my, um... <clears throat> I actually thought about using these cute little things, but that's too big. So you have to match the same size. That one has too many holes in it. But they're too small to work with. I mean, you could use those, but... Oh, and I have... See, if I had all my shells from at home, I, there would be so many more butterflies I could make. That's my dog in the background. She has something going on with her. So, you know, I'm not going to, going to do it. I'm not going to keep you any longer, but that's, that's the butterflies. That's our project for the day. <clears throat> so... I'll be back. You guys have a beautiful day. Until next time. Any, oh, any questions about any of this, please let me know. Okay? In the comments section. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.